So, today we have a rocket that is frozen, landing on a frozen planet, and we'll need to work on thawing everything out, like the stone deposit here. If we combine these two together, then we get sparks. The sparks get combined with coal here, then we get fire. So now we can melt the rocket so it can open its hatch and give us a bonfire, which we can place over here. And then once we fuel it like we did before with the fire, we start to melt the snow away. But we can't do this by ourselves. That's why we have these robots here that come in head and body separately. Some assembly required. We just do that and we have a craft made here. And then stone plus coal together without the sparks give us a coal brick. So our little guy can just munch on that and fuel himself. And we can also have this guy automate some tasks because the bonfire needs constant fueling. So we pull up his programming here and then we tell him to find some stone. Then once he combines those to give us a spark, he finds coal and then combines again. And then he delivers it to the bonfire. So once he does that, he can go back to idle and start the whole thing again. So hopefully this works. There we go. He's, he finds some stone, combines it. Yes, he has a spark, goes over to the coal, and now he has fire, and now he's feeding the bonfire. That works so good, and then he just does that to the end of days. That is excellent. Now, we also need to create some bricks, so we find some soil over here, and then some stone like this, and now we have a brick. And then if we combine that brick with some coal, we have a bonfire that will go over here, and then this bonfire is good for a little bit, so let's change up our friend's programming. Talk the sweet. So instead of going to that bonfire over there, he was going to this one. Ooh, we caught him just in time. And now we're melting over this way. Hey, that gave us another robot. And the ship just whoa! It just modified itself into a command center. Wow! So now we need to provide stone to the command center, which we can have Kip the Big do that for us. Let's go back into here, find stone and deliver to here. And then idle. That should work, right? Picks up the stone, delivers it straight to here, and then he's done. Oh, <laughs> he's playing keep away with the arm in the command center. What are you doing? Oh, you silly. Instead of finding and picking, let's get rid of that. And then you need to pick from a specific spot and you pick from here. Now that should do it. So he delivers it to the command center and then he goes on his own way. Excellent. Uh oh. Oh, no, Todd, you ran out of battery. Oh, you sad little thing here. Eat this. There we go. Let's just make up a few of those and then feed it to him. We need to make sure these bots are well maintained. And it looks like our bonfire died over here. I have a different idea. We don't really need soil right now. Let's put the bonfire over here and then reprogram Todd to fuel it because this one should have the range to thaw out Kip the Chubby. Just fuel the fire there. And there we have him. Hey, now we can put you to work. Let's just really quickly move you to... Oh, we completed that objective. Okay, go to point over here just so we can get you out of the cold range in case you freeze again. All right, now the command center has given us an upgrade point so we can tell the robots to eat things now. That's really good for the coal bricks. That's probably what we can have Kip the Chubby do, which is an unfortunately fitting name for that. Now we already have you, so you are going to find some stone and then find some coal and then combine them and then you can drop them somewhere central like here so now our guy will be constantly making coal batteries or coal bricks i suppose now the command center needs some sparks so we can have kip the big do that uh, why are you sitting there oh because they didn't tell it to loop whoops Whoa. fix that really quick and now these coal bricks are constantly being made so we can fuel up the guys that need them which it looks like these two are constantly needing them all right but now we need kip to do some some combining things so you can pick from there and then can I copy this I can so we can just have this again and then he'll combine and then drop to this point and then idle oh it looks like he's having trouble with the bricks because they don't stack that's a bit of a problem well we won't need to worry about the stacking if I'm constantly feeding the robots that need them and what's going on here Oh, we had a robot pop out of there. I didn't realize that. Well, now we have more help for us. Bob the Silly. Okay, this bonfire can go back over here. Oh, I just, I just ripped fire. I just ripped fire out of the bonfire. Oh, that, that doesn't help. But if we need to empty it so we can move it, then that'll be good for us. As soon as it's done burning. Are you the one that's fueling it? Okay, pause you. Just wait for this fire to run out. There's a lot of goodies way over here. Some storage, a straight up bodies. Oh no, the fire's freezing. That's not how that works, but we need this over here and then fuel it so we can have access to the soil again. Well, we'll get that fire back later. Okay, now you can resume. I suppose I need to change where he's delivering the stuff to. There we go. Hey, we got another upgrade point. Let's see, we have counters, energy, direction. So if we get this low battery upgrade, then we can tell it to check the robot's charge level. That'll be good for 
keeping it maintained. And look, everybody's got these little jerseys on with the lightning bolts. Oh, that's so fun. Ooh, there's iron over there. Wow. Need to unfreeze it though, so let's create some bonfires. Oh, I think I just told the robot to eat the rock. That's not what I meant to do. I just need to create a bonfire. Ooh, and then we get another robot like that. With this free fire off to the side. Let's just go ahead and get that started right away. Mine up some of this iron here. And then can we combine it? It doesn't look like we can. Ah, but we can combine it with fire and that creates steel. Neat. And we have another robot here. Pick the skinny. Oh, we got more of them. Eh, -heh, the skinny. Eh, -heh, heh Wow, we have so many robots. I'm not sure I know what to do with them all. And the sparks aren't needed over here anymore. So let's just move that. Okay, stop you. You don't need to create sparks anymore. Just stop it. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Stop what you're doing. You don't need to do it anymore. Take a break. Okay, I've got the game paused right now just because I need to think about reevaluating these robots. So what I'm thinking is at the end of their production cycles, that's when they can check the energy and then respond as needed. So if the energy level is okay, then they can go back to idle. But then if it's low, they need to collect the coal bricks. But the coal bricks don't stack, which is an issue. Ooh, but if we deliver enough of the iron bars, then we get storage containers. Don't need to tell me any more things. Let's just... Oh, <laughs> I created a magnet by accident. Whoops. Let's just set that off to the side. You're delivering fire to there. But this bonfire has a lot of fire in it already. This one does not though. So new bonfire target is over here because we need the iron. We have... Who is making the sparks and such? It's you. So we can copy this program over to this one? Yeah, this one. So now once you make fire, instead of going to the bonfire, you find some iron and then combine it and then deliver to here but it looks like there's some things there already get this spark out of here i suppose with this i can just make some fire and then combine things initially just to do this a little bit more manually than i would like to but now uh oh the bonfire died see that's why i wanted who was in charge of fueling it just resume things and you get to work and you stop delivering sparks to that point this is so much to keep track of and you why are you not working right you've already got your hands full well that's your oh it stopped being connected for whatever reason well well, that's an easy fix. You, I haven't figured out yet, but these sparks need to get out of here. Okay, now the bonfire is being fueled and he's making steel. Oh, good. We also have all these sparks off to the side. Let's just go ahead and create some fire so this thing stays fueled. We'll let the robot handle creating the steel and some more of these people are not working like they should. And you just constantly have a problem with these coal bricks taking up the spot that you want to place them into. This is why we need storage. And it was you that was in charge of creating the things. I forgot to put in the idle again. Just go through it. There we go. Take some steel and then deliver it before you're standing there. And we did the objective. Ooh, there's more grass showing up too. Wow. And we have storage. Perfect. Okay, so how do we use this storage? Oh, we just place it. That was easy. So we can place a storage there next to the command center, probably off to the side here actually. And this one can go over there for now. I hope it doesn't block the way. Let's just actually put it over here. Changing your programming. Instead of dropping it there, can I have you... Yeah, drop the storage. Storage. So you go there and then you go to idle and then we just remove this entirely. Now we need to reset that so he figures out what to do and then he should proceed as normal. Now we do have another upgrade point. Let's see, compare object variables. Nodes that store values. Interesting. Ooh, this top branch has a thing for checking if something's empty. That'd be good. So let's unlock this for now. But they all get fancy little monocles. That's cool. All right. So now that we have a storage for the coal bricks, we can go through some of these working bots because they expend a lot more energy and then once they're done with their task we tell them to energy check and if the energy is okay then they just go to idle and if it's low then they take from storage pick from this and then eat it and then go to idle yeah that works really good i really love these node flow charts here and then let's see can i copy a few of these it looks like i can so we need to copy these four things copy it and then all the working bots will also get this command oh this is working super good Good. So now you get that. And then the rest of these robots that aren't working, we're just going to put the code in there so I don't have to copy it later. I still need work for them to do. Oh, you were doing something? I was telling you, oh yeah, you were going to combine stuff. Well, then if you're going to be working, then you get the energy check command as well. And then you can do the work today. What were you doing before? Nothing? Well, you still get this just to have off to the side. There, and now we're making some more steel things. And we have a good backlog from the storage as well. Or at least we did. He's going through it really fast. And we get two more robots out of this? Oh my goodness. Maybe I just need these other robots to fuel fires. So who's doing that? Is it you? 
No, it's you, right? Yeah, but you're also just going and completing the work without checking your battery level. Charge level drops below seven. Oh, I see. Even with red bars, it's still at 20? Wow. So I guess a full head is 100% instead of the little tick marks on there. Interesting. And you just picked up the storage box. What are you doing? Put that down. I need you to drop what you have. And did you? What did you do? Oh, you lost the storage box because this guy picked it up. Just drop the box. Just reset. Okay, now we place that there. There we go. I need you to take a pause so that our guy can collect. Actually, it looks like we can also adjust their speed. So why don't we just do that? We have plenty of coal bricks, so they should be able to work just fine. Now, the one that was fueling fires is you? Yeah, it was you. So let's copy your code over to you and then over to you. So you will go to this fire, which you could probably move to the edge of this. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Let's move this bonfire over up here. That should be good. So now all of the bonfire suppliers are up and going. That's really good. And thankfully these coal deposits have a lot of coal. I just really want to see someone, ooh, Peck the Skinny is about to have low charge. So once he's done with his task, then he should, yes, take a coal brick and he ate it. That works so good, I love it. So now you can resume your task because there's plenty of these in storage now. All of our robots are working, this is beautiful. Except Bob should get a move on because Izzy's already started. Oh wait, no, 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 that's sand. Okay, wait, stop you, stop. No, 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 you grabbed the thing. Get a move on, Bob. No. Why are you not moving? Because this didn't get connected. Neat. Oh, the low programming bugs. What would you ever do without them? And I'm not sure what you're gonna do yet, so you just hold on there. Okay, so you combined and made sand. And did someone just put coal in there? Who's doing that? And why are you confused? All right, I'm just gonna take fire from here and then set that in there. Or maybe I can't because the sand needs to go in there. Who was it that got confused? Bob did. Okay, different bots working at different speeds. This seems to be working without anyone having any errors. That's very good. It's just a little concerning that they're running at so low power, but they're getting the job done. And there's also all this paint here. I'm not sure what we do with this. Can we paint the robots? Oh, he did. He just ate the white paint. That's weird. Don't do that. Reset you back to yellow or orange. Okay, now you're just never the right color anymore. Sorry about that. And you picked up the storage box again. You're working slower. I don't know why you have to be so complicated, Izzy. Maybe I should take some of these fires and put them in here so there's a backlog of them because these bonfires have plenty to work with as is. And now Izzy can deliver the final glass to the thing. And then stop what you're doing. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop what you're doing. Ooh, magnets. Hey. So the magnets were made by steel and iron together. Just need to get this little robot out of the way. Ahead the calm. Maybe we, hey, we just did a thing. A heater. Ooh, heater's good for that. Can we put that up here? Uh, ooh, what did that do? Heater needs thing to work. Okay. Well, we have plenty of those. So if you plug that in, oh yeah, look at that, it's heating it up. We got more storage containers. That was a really lucky spot to do that. And there's more green stuff showing up. Oh, I love it so much. And now we have way too many magnets, hold on. Oh yeah, I meant to check if this was empty. So we buy this, and then once we find whoever's in charge of taking things, like Izzy, for example, He's meant to take things and combine them. And then, yeah, but now you don't have things to combine. What are you doing? Oh, I messed this up. If it's full, you're supposed to pick from here and then do that. So reset. All right, so he checks the container. It has stuff in it, so he takes it. Yeah, and then he goes over and finds a thing. I love that he actually peered into it. That was really cool. That is working. Also, I have no idea what this thing is. It's a bubble of sorts. We need to find ice. I suppose that's what this is. Oh, that is what this is. We also need to move this heater, which I can't do yet. Or I just make another one, which I'm kind of working on. So can the robots collect this yet? Or no, it's extremely cold, so they probably can't. Well, we can take one of these bonfires and place it over here, probably. And then get the fires going inside. There, the ice is available. So if we take this and then combine it uh -huh, with water or fire, that makes water. And then we can just do that. Do we really even have robots that can do that already? I don't know, but we have another thing for a heater here. Oh, and Bib the Skinny isn't available in the demo. That's sad. Bib wants to come out and play. Look at him. He's depressed. I mean, I would be too if I was frozen in ice. We also have bodies here with no heads. Where are the heads? There's a head over there. So let's place this heater over here. And then the last battery goes in here. That heats that up. And now we have bodies and heads for more robots. Now we can use those. Wait, because someone took the... Who took the coal battery? Who moved it? That's supposed to be down here. Why did you move it? Someone pulled a funny prank. Oh no, and I just fed the storage container to somebody. Okay, we have another one over here. Just need to avoid person being there. Okay, we have at least most of the robots going around properly. Hey, we got a battery out of that. Good. So, whoa, it just gave us a lot of batteries. Okay, now it wants to... 
have us make charged plates. Which, thankfully, we have plenty of these to do, so I'm just gonna take care of this myself. And I accidentally just made a battery, because whoever it is keeps delivering water to here. You, stop. Although the batteries are good for the heaters out here, so that's some goodness going on there. Not too sure I really need them, though. I've already made five of these, and I'm starting to understand why I made robots do it. But this is a temporary thing, so I'm just gonna finish it. Also, why are you broken? Because you picked from there already. If that's the air that keeps coming up, then you're just gonna move on to combining. Okay, I think that solved it. Oh, good. Less I have to worry about. Oh, and now there's light bulbs, but I have more points. So we can unlock functions and variables. And functions seems like it's a entire thing. Oh, yes, it is. All right. I think I've ran out of brain power today, so we're just going to call it there. But I hope you guys enjoy this video of Craftimation 101. It's a fun little demo if you can get everything working properly. I've kind of lost track of my own creation, but if you guys want to see me attempt some more things with this, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Minor Within, Degarity, and Sands.